fucking DACA. I honestly, I don't, I don't think I'm even gonna post this shit, man. I might not even post this shit, man. People are gonna get so fucking hurt. People are gonna get butt hurt. They're gonna be like, wow, dude, you just fucking went there. I'm gonna be like, fuck yeah, I did. Shit. Today's moral vlog is gonna be a very fucking touchy subject. I kinda don't wanna fucking do it, but I'm going to. I don't want anybody to take any fucking offense. I don't want anybody to take anything personal from this. I came home last night and I was talking to my wife and she had posted on her Facebook a fucking, a really sick fucking story, so to say. So. In my own words, I'm gonna retell you guys that. So if my wife's watching this, thank you, baby. Appreciate it. I'm giving you the credit for this moto vlog, not me. It's a fucking scooter, buddy. All right, so let's just say, for whatever fucked up reason, you live in a fucking house. You live in a house you have, we'll just say fucking four roommates. Two and four of the roommates. Out of the four of the roommates, only three of them help out and pay the bills. The fourth one, for whatever reason, doesn't pay shit. You and your other three roommates split everything. You guys split electricity, you guys split the fucking rent, you guys fucking split the fucking grocery bills, you guys each fucking take turns and do dishes and clean the fucking house and fucking mow the lawn, fucking whatever, whatever the case be. Everybody takes turns, everybody shares, everybody does their part, except that fourth person. That fourth roommate doesn't work, doesn't fucking do anything, doesn't clean, doesn't do shit. Now, as this is going on, you struggle, you have to pay your rent, you gotta pay your, your end of the fucking bills. We'll just say you're a college student, you gotta pay for your health insurance, you gotta pay your tuition, you gotta pay your phone bill, you pay your car insurance, your car bill, you know, whatever, whatever the case is. You gotta pay for everything. You're broke as a fucking joke. You and your three other roommates can barely get food, barely have enough money to get food and shit. You go and apply for food stamps and you don't qualify because you make too much money. Even though your fridge is empty and you do have other roommates but they're in the same boat. They can't pay for shit. Fourth roommate, no job, no nothing. You start noticing that he always has brand new shit. Brand new fucking cell phones, brand new fucking laptops, brand new car. Oh, and then he, he also qualifies for food stamps. Wouldn't that piss you off? I mean, what would you do? You'd kick that roommate out, right? Tell him to pay his own way. Make him pay for shit, right? Well, this guy's is exactly what's going on with DACA. The dreamers. Like, dude, it's not my fault that your parents brought you here illegally. It's not my fault. It's not your fault either. But just because you're here doesn't mean that you should get fucking scholarships. And you should get fucking free rides and you should get fucking food stamps and I'm American. I was fucking born here. English is my first language. Like that shit fucking pisses me off. That shit pisses me off so fucking much, man. What about my son? My son now has to fucking work his ass off and get good grades in school and shit in order to fucking get a scholarship. He doesn't get a scholarship because he's fucking DACA or whatever the fuck. Like, what the fuck? That's bullshit. I'm Mexican. My mom's Mexican. Half of my family is Mexican. You call me racist, you can say whatever the fuck you want, but I'm not. 
because I am Mexican. This isn't about racism. All you fucking people are stupid. It's about fucking making America great again. Not everything has to be fucking racist, man. And I'm not against fucking people coming in this country either. I'm not fucking be American. Come to this country. Fucking gain your citizenship. Fucking do your part. Don't just fucking come and freeload. My grandma was born in the Philippines. My dad was also born in the Philippines. She had a fight to get over here. She was on a long waiting list to get over here. She had to save a lot of money to get over here. And then when she did get here, my dad had to start going to school and shit, and he was forced to learn English. He had no choice. He had to learn English. Now, in today's age, we have all these fucking Mexican people, and they all expect us to fucking speak Spanish. Like, no, that's not the way it works. Like, you came to America. We speak English. You have to speak English if you're gonna come here. That annoys the shit out of me. Oh my god. Like, why? I don't know, just talking about this kind of shit pisses me off, dude. I don't want to be mad. I don't like being mad. So again, guys, I'm not trying to fucking offend anybody. I really am not. It's just my opinion. I don't think fucking just because you claim or you're a part of a group of kids that were brought here. We haven't gained your citizenship yet. I don't think fucking that deserves a scholarship. I'm sorry. You gotta work for that shit, guys. Like, nothing is given away for free. And it seems like fucking everybody that doesn't deserve it gets all the free shit. Fucking, this is America. What about the American dream? What happened to that, man? The fuck happened to that? 17,000 fucking DACA citizens in fucking Colorado right now. 17,000. That is a lot of illegals, man. No fucking wonder I gotta press two for fucking English. Oh my god, this is bullshit! Motherfuckers! Motherfucking bullshit ass dick sucking looking motherfuckers! I love you guys. Thank you guys for always fucking tuning in and watching my fucking bullshit. I'll fucking see y'all bitches later. Good morning, bitch. Oh, fuck yeah. Cheers. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, sh shit. Squirting everywhere. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, 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 uh. An Elmo ass motherfucker. You in one, bitches. Just pissed my dick off.